In this video, I am going to create use case diagram for student management system. To do that, I use page 1. Click on page 1 and double click on it and you can change the page name. You have to type use case diagram and click on rename. Then I am going to add a title to our diagram. To add a title to diagram, I click on the text element in the general section. Click on text and you will receive a text field to type. To change this text, you have to double click on it and you can type Student Management System the text field click on text field and you can change the text settings in the text section then I'm going to create first use case to do that click on the ellipse icon in the general section and you will receive an ellipse shape resize it and double click on it then you can type the first use case which should include a verb the first step is to register student then to create another use case you can add another ellipse resize it and type the second use case which is select cause then you can take a copy of this and you can paste it here Then double click on it and change the text to do payment. We need one more use case. Then you can right click and click paste here. Double click on it and type do exam. Now we have created use cases for our use case diagram. Then I have to add rectangle rounding all our use cases which will show us the boundary of our system. When you create rectangle it will look like this. Then right click on this rectangle and select to back then you will see all your use cases the next thing is to add actors to our use case diagram to add an actor in the general section you will see the shape called actor which is an stick figure click on it and you will receive actor icon here then you can Change the text actor by double clicking on the actor shape. Then you can type student. Then keep the student figure in the left side of use case. We need to add more actors. In the same way, you can click on the actor icon place it where you want 
to change the text actor you have to double click on it and I'm going to type front office when we need more actors as usual you can click right click and copy then again right click paste here to change the text as usual you have to double click on the figure and type cashier again right click on here and select paste here and double click on it to change the text as examiner now we have created all the actors that we require for our use case diagram now I am going to connect them be sure to select normal lines but not directional connectors that means the arrows are not used in use case diagrams be sure to select normal lines click on it and you will get an line you can place one side in the student and other side in student registration which is register student when a student is getting registered the front office is connected with that process therefore we have to join front office to the process of register student after registering student have to select a course therefore student involves in that process as well when student is getting registered the front office is also involved therefore you have to connect again front office to the use case of select course after selecting the course student has to pay the payment therefore student is connected with the use case of due payment when making a payment it involves the cashier in the office therefore student is connected to due payment with the cashier next the student will be connected in doing payment therefore I have to take another line connect one end in a student section and the other end to do exam use case when a student is doing an exam it involves the examiner therefore we have to contact examiner with the process of do exam this is the end of use case diagram in student management system.